Well, Jessica Hecht is no stranger to awards when it comes to her acting, but off the stage, her dedication to making change in communities is even greater. So much so that she's being honored with the Activism Award by the Worker Circle next month, and we are so excited to catch up with her now. Welcome back. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. It's lovely to see you. So the Worker Circle is something that you've been involved with for a very long time. So your late grandmother actually introduced you to the organization, right? Yeah. It's so rare that you can say that your grandmother actually fostered this sense of yeah. activism, whatever that means. But yes, when I when I was a child, I used to go to the Workers Circle bi building on 37th to you know get what would it be the equivalent of a flu shot or a checkup, and I, they did my insurance. But they also had such a sense of helping anybody in the community in a yeah. very practical way. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me what the organization does. Then they just yeah. help any way they can. Exactly. You know, <laughs> it's, I think it's best to think of them as really a home for helping refugees first and foremost, but helping the community at large. Yeah. And they do everything from health, general health care and insurance, historically, to really supporting a historic um, preservation of both progressive Jewish um, values, Yiddish, and and all the sort of core elements of that, what people brought from the shtetls, yeah. but also they're just a very basic democratic helping, not democratic in the political sense, but they, they right. support democracy and they support... They help um, anyone. They help anyone that's <laughs> in this country. Yeah, yes, and, and you, so you watched that with your grandmother growing up. Now you're helping, you know, the next generation of activists with yeah. your um, Campfire Project. Yes. That you found it in 2017, right? Yeah, I founded it sort of at the start of our, our awareness of the Syrian uh, civil war and, and Greek refugee camps were just teeming. And I went to do this kind of theater-based wellness work with yeah. people there and that's in a funny way started when I was doing Fiddler on the Roof there were people that came to the show and Worker Circle comes out of that history of people fleeing the shtetls and coming and during that show I met people who had remembered how how much that help yeah. um, really supported their family so I went to these refugee camps to kind of pass that on yeah you just helped Ukrainians fleeing from the war yes you and your team went over there and, and really it's a you've helped with with bringing arts to kids too, yeah, right. Which, which people? I mean, I mean, on the outskirts of it, people think, oh, well, what, what does that do to bring arts to kids? It is so valuable yeah. and so important because it's escapism for them too. Absolutely, and it gives them a sense of agency that they can actually create uh, something both, both both that elevates their sense of who they are, yeah. you know, they could become something. Sometimes we go and we say to them, who do you want to be today? And then we do a complete makeover. And they are, for that moment, somebody that has yeah. has basically elevated themselves from their circumstances, but it also creates community and 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 a real love for one another. So it's yeah. been an amazing experience, yeah. Well, yeah. you're inspiring people uh, in that sense of the word, but you're also, um, on stage, you're also always inspiring people oh. too. You've got a new play you're coming out um, next next year, next April with Laura Linney. Yeah. Tell us about it. Oh, that's summer uh, 1976. That's about uh, two women that meet uh, in a at a small university uh, in in 1976, uh, and they both have young children and they share babysitting for their for their their individual ch child, uh, their girls, and it is a summer of tremendous change in their lives, and they uh, never see one another after that summer. They they continue to connect a little yeah. bit, and then they meet again 30 years later um, in New York at a museum. Oh, I love and, that. And uh, it's all the things you thought you were then and all the things you thought you gave to somebody then oh, um, that, that may or may not be true. I love <laughs> that. And I, I mean, just thinking about you and Laura Lenny together, because I love you oh, both so much, it's going to be just magic yeah. on stage. So for more info on the Workers Circle and oh. their upcoming benefit, visit circle.org and visit campfire-project.org for more of Jessica's missions around the globe.